G'day everyone. Welcome to the Open Wheels, the 3,000 subscriber plus giveaway. This video is for all of you who have taken the time to subscribe to this channel and help build it up to what it is uh, without me prompting you at all. So thank you so much, especially. Um, I'm having a lot of fun still. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, again, time to say thank you. And so at the moment, we've come up with this uh, over this side. We've got both sides will have a set of these stamps. And uh, both sides will have a set of these. This is just a little something to look at the opal a bit closer with if you want. And a jar. So on this side, we've got a jar of some, sort of some rubs that I've just stopped working on for some reason. Some of them are, yeah, nothing wrong with them too much. You'll get stones out of them, so that's kind of a beginner parcel dream. Some really nice colour in there, and you will get some really nice stones out of it. And I think I threw this one in. From a video I did, I might uh, go on to give away um, someone to play around with. So we've had this kindly donated by Ken, and so that's on this side. It's a very nice pendant, set in resin, some nice opal chips, right colour, and opal hunters, Bartram's on the opal fields between 1936 and. 2021 so this family's been very well entrenched in the opal field and industry and this book is so full of history um, that you won't see in any movies or any other books really with the amount of information coalesced in this one book um, very well worth the read I'm still getting through it uh, reading and rereading some of it it's quite interesting um, a lot of information in there very well worth a look I do have copies of these available at $50 each plus postage if anyone's interested. It's Australian dollars. Um, but yeah, so there'll be a copy of that on this side. So that'll be the main giveaway. And over here, same again, set of stamps, little loop, uh, and a jar of opal. So again, begin with parcel. Not so much rubs in there, but Fair bit of colour, something to play around with. A lot of little Dremel, little carvings, maybe. Um, and some stones. And I threw that in. Just for the heck of it. <laughs> um, so that'll be giveaway number two. Okay, so for this giveaway, I had to try and figure out a way to give away to two people. And I thought, how to do this? So, obviously for starters, must be a subscriber. Being a subscriber giveaway, it should be pretty clear. Um, so, all right, how to get people entered in this giveaway? So I thought, what about a comment? It'll be easy. That'll get everybody who's actually interested in the giveaway. I'm not just going to put everybody in there. Um, over 3,000, um, unless 3,000 people specifically want to be in there, which is quite fine. And more the better. But I thought I'm not going to... Yeah, some people may not want some of this stuff. Um, who knows? That's happened in the past. So I thought I'll leave it up to you guys to be in it. And obviously being a subscriber, you're eligible. So step one. All right, leave a comment. Um, comment on what? So I thought it's gonna have no bearing on your win, losing or drawing on a giveaway, but leave a comment
So, what I'd like you to do is... Now, this has got nothing to do with red on black, or Harlequin, or, you know, biggest, baddest opal. This is about... Let me know, like, what's your favourite colour opal, combined with your favourite pattern, um, your favourite cut, whether it be carved, cut, uh, oval, round, um, a, a lot of... I want to know your honest of opinion of what kind of opal appeals to you. Not based on, oh, I've heard red on black harlequin would be red and blue even, of the rare colours, since there's nothing in between, it's just red and blue, um, the, the combination. In a harlequin, it's like, yeah, clearly that would be super expensive and, you know, who wouldn't want to own that? But would you like it enough to say, you know what, I'd buy that and just go, yeah, that's my favourite, that's the one I want. Do you like straw pattern? Chuff, leaf, um, pin fire, uh, striated, uh, floral, harlequin, um, mackerel, there's so many patterns. Um, but the colour combination, or singular colour, or broad flash, or flagstone, they don't have to be patterns as such, they can just be flash, do you like a rolling flash? Uh, do you like to turn it and have it flash? Or would you just like it to glare at you in every direction? Um, so just to comment on what's your personal ideal stone that you would like? You know, if you saw it, you'd go, oh, I'd like to know the price on that because I'd consider buying it type thing. Um, even if you may or may not have the money to, you at least asked the price, you know, something if you can get the gist of what I'm getting at, something you'd actually consider buying though, you know, because you do like it. So that kind of an opal, just leave a comment. I hope that's not too long winded, um, but that will bear nothing on whether you win, lose or draw. So that'll just signify you want to be in the giveaway. So then I thought, how do I pick two people? Now I need to keep it fair in regards to, I'm not gonna make people compete, and I need to have everyone on an even playing field, regardless of anything. Um, so again, that's why it's got nothing to do with your favorite kind of opal, that's just, I'd like to know. Now, keeping it fair, I thought I need to be impartial and non-decisive on my part as far as I don't want to pick somebody. Um, I've already done the guess the weight, so the only thing I can come up with, random name generator. So everyone who responds, I've got an app I'll be using and I'll enter everyone's name that goes on a wheel. I'll I'll hit the shuffle button a few times and that will, after I've entered everyone's name in, it will just reorder them in a random different order. Um, that way that's like shuffling the deck. And then I tap the wheel, it spins. Whoever's name comes up will be giveaway one, which will be the book side. So I then remove that name from the wheel, so they don't end up winning twice, randomly, <laughs> um, to be fair. And spin the wheel again. And from there, we'll figure out giveaway two. And so that's the way I'm gonna do that, and that way everyone has an equal opportunity, chance, at randomly being picked, and we'll do that in a video when I get back from my next Andamooka trip, I think. Now, to mention, if you've just come across this channel and you're only recently subscribed or thinking of and want to subscribe to be in this, go ahead. Um, and more support for this channel. I'm sure everyone else is like, why don't you support your own channel? Um, I'm leaving that up to you guys to spread and share it. Um, the bigger this gets, um, the ad revenue is what I use to pay for some of these giveaways. And so 
yeah, the bigger this channel gets, the better things like that may get too. Uh, if that appeals to anyone alone. Um, not trying to buy subscribers, but just encouraging people to at least be part of the Opal industry or Opal world, if you will. Um, I'll be doing lots of videos coming up on mining, buying, selling, cutting, carving, treating, setting in um, gold and silver, uh, treating matrix is what I was talking about. A lot of you already know this. <laughs> um but also a buying and selling video just what i know on things so that's coming up as well but yeah if you want to be interested enough in opal or get interested in it and want to help support this channel in some way subscribing is a good start but i don't regularly if at all ask i've left it up to everybody to genuinely want to be here and i suppose by watching this video maybe you'd like to be here you're quite welcome so yeah if you want to be in the chance for this subscribe <laughs> other than that thank you to everybody who's subscribed so far this one's for you cheers